First thing you're going to need is a MIDI keyboard. I have one right here. It doesn't have to be a fancy MIDI keyboard. And you also need a sustain pedal connected to your keyboard. Now your keyboard needs to be connected to your computer. Most keyboards have a USB port in the back and they simply plug in to your laptop, even your iPad nowadays, pretty much anything. I've got mine going into a Focusrite audio interface which is connected via USB into my computer. Now, let's look at the software and see what we need to do. Okay, I'm going to be using a program called Bohm's MIDI Translator. There is a NAG screen. This one has about 10 seconds. And once the NAG screen says OK, you can press OK and get into the program. What you want to do first is you want to press the plus button here where it says create a new translator preset. Now make sure your keyboard is connected to your computer already and make sure you have a sustain pedal connected to your keyboard. Okay. Once you have your new preset, click on it and then add a new translator. Once you have your new translator, click it and press the pencil button where you can edit it. Now, before you do this, make sure, let's go ahead and close this, you change your MIDI in to the device that you have connected to your computer. Mine is a Focusrite USB MIDI device. Yours will say something different probably. My MIDI out, I am also going to choose the same device. Whatever device your keyboard is, that's what you want to choose. Okay, go into your new translator, edit it and where it says incoming do capture MIDI and once you capture MIDI press down on your sustain pedal and it may look something like this it's gonna make a bunch of different things probably you wanna go with the one that initially starts it so I'm gonna go ahead and close this again see which one it starts with here we go ready capture MIDI okay try one more time this is the one I'm looking for BO 407 F and it's continuous controller number one sustain with the value of 127 that means you're pushing down the sustain pedal all the way and I'm going to just choose that one okay apply and I'm gonna close it and now I'm going to go into this same trigger edit it again and do MIDI uh, outgoing we want to do outgoing we want it to be a keystroke emulation and click on the box in here and press if you're using Google Slides press the right arrow and then it will automatically register as right arrow click apply and click close now every time you press your sustain pedal it will emulate a right keystroke on your computer. Let's see if it works. Okay, I'm now in Google Slides. I'm going to press the present button. And on my sustain pedal, I'm going to press it. And as you can see, as I press it, it advances to the next slide. You could have two sustain pedals and actually go backwards and forwards. I know a lot of keyboards have uh, three, maybe a sostenuto pedal, a sustain pedal, and whatever that middle <laughs> pedal is. Anyway, not too hard to do, pretty easy. Hope this works out for you. Hope you're successful with getting this all set up. Thanks so much for watching the video.